Good afternoon, I'm Neil McNeil of Fox 8 News with your afternoon news update for Friday, February 12th. Here are some of the stories you can expect to see on this evening's editions of the Fox 8 5 and 6 o'clock news. And as we take a look over downtown Greensboro, here we are on another Friday. More clouds are moving in. Don't firm up those Friday night plans yet. More winter precipitation. How much and when? Here's Chief Meteorologist Van Denton with an expanded weather update. Van. All right, Neil. Well, that system we've been watching all week for the deep south is indeed producing snow in Birmingham and Atlanta. Atlanta all the way to the north and down to the south, even some rain snow mix into Florida. But there are some new updates with the system. As we mentioned on our news last night at 10, we're seeing an indication that this is going to start getting pulled to the north. And you can even see this in the satellite loop. You can see it starting to adjust that direction. Now, this leading edge of snow is not reaching the ground, but that will start to change as it falls into a dry layer and moistens it up. We believe that starting late this afternoon, some of our southern counties will start to see some flurries and then it'll reach the triad this evening and we'll see a period of light to moderate snow in the triad this evening late through early tonight up until about two o'clock in the morning. Our southern counties will get heavier amounts of precipitation and therefore a greater amount of snow and the advisories now reflect that the triad area all the way to the Raleigh Durham area. All the north here now is included in a winter weather advisory down to the south where the moisture will be higher. A winter storm warning is out for more significant amounts of snowfall. Unusual places like Charleston that hasn't had snow in 10 years expecting some snow tonight. So is Myrtle Beach, but what you really want to know is how much we're going to have at home. We're working on the latest accumulations. We'll have that for you today at five and six. Thank you, Van. Also this evening at five and six, we expect to hear from Summer Thompson's father in Alamance County. His feelings now that investigators have found a person of interest in her murder. There are some big upcoming leadership changes within the University of North Carolina system. What Erskine Bowles' departure will mean to employees and students. And the video that's become a Fox 8 web sensation. A Winston-Salem woman rolls the video camera after she finds a rat in her toilet how she got rid of this rodent, and how you can keep this from happening to you. Thanks again for checking out the afternoon news update. We'll see you on the air in a few minutes for the Fox 8 5 and 6 o'clock news, or check us out live on the World Wide Web by clicking on the live streams icon in the top right corner of the MyFox8.com homepage. Have a safe evening.